Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new episode slash series in Unreal Engine 4. This is a video voted on by my patrons and it's something they really wanted and that is how to deal damage. So here we're going to do, uh, here's what we're going to end up doing we're going to, in this video. We're going to be able to run up to our mannequin and whack him with our sword and deal damage to him. So it's pretty simple, there's not much to it, um, but it's really cool and really efficient way of dealing damage. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so before we begin, I've really done a couple of things. I downloaded and installed the Greystone character into our project. Greystone character is an asset, the Epic release from Paragon, uh, which is free to download. I just downloaded it because A, it looks cool, and B, it comes with all the animations and the animation blueprint already done for me. So for the purposes of this tutorial, it will do just fine. However, you just have your own mannequin, your own character, and own animations um, as you see fit. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've made a test dummy. A uh, test dummy is just a dummy. It's just a character, nothing on it, no blueprint, just a mesh. Okay, and I gave him the animation blueprint as well. So absolutely nothing special on this mannequin. So let's begin, shall we? The first thing we need to do is tell our character to attack because at start he doesn't do anything, just runs around. Okay, looks very nice doing it, but no attack animation. So let's get that going um, I'm not going to go into the whole rigmarole of doing like combo attacks and things like that, we'll just do a simple attack here so to begin I need to set up an input for my attack so I'm going to go to edit project settings and into input now we need an action mapping because it is an action not an axis and the action is going to be called attack so create a new one and call it attack and for this, I'm going to use the left mouse button. Okay. And close that. Now I've made that into inputs. I can right click here and go into input. Uh, not input, sorry. Attack. There we go. And there's the attack key. So whenever I push the left mouse button, this will trigger as long as I'm controlling this character. So when I do that, I'm going to uh, play a montage and there it is and i need to give it here a skeletal mesh component and the montage is just animation so it needs a mesh that the animation belongs to so drag your mesh out and hook it up and the montage we want to select i'm going to choose my attack primary a montage it's just whatever your attack montage is uh, and that's it that'll do click ok compile so when i push play I can swing my sword. Pretty simple. So, next trick is to make it so that I can hit this dummy and deal damage to it. So, the way this works, well, there's, there's multiple ways of accomplishing this uh, whole entire task. Uh, I'm going to show you the line trace method, which has been used by quite a few games. Uh, it works quite well. So, to do that, we need to actually go to our montage. So I'm going to find my montage that we are using for the attack. And there is attack primary A, like so. So the idea is, is that we're going to tell it to line trace from the weapon as it is swinging. Okay, and from that line trace we can detect a hit or not. So to accomplish this we need to use a notify state. Now. The notify site we want to use doesn't exist, we have to create it from scratch. So to do that, I'm going to go add new, blueprint class, and in the all classes box at the bottom, you want to search for notify state. And you want this default one, anim notify state. Choose that, click select. And I'm going to call it deal damage, oh, deal damage notify okay and we're going to open this up so when we open it up all this is is just a bit of code that we can put onto the notifier now this code is very limited we can't do too much on it so for example we can't set variables on it we can only get variables okay so what we need to do is override our function first uh, so to do that you go to the functions choose override aim at received notified tick Okay, so whilst this notification's going, 
this is going to happen okay and this is when we do our line trace so the line trace it, well actually not a line trace we're going to do a sphere trace a sphere trace by channel like so now if you've seen my videos before you've probably seen a tracing already but to those who haven't tracing essentially is it is shooting an invisible line or in this case an invisible sphere out in a certain direction and it can return what it hits um, and gives us a lot of details about it so on the sphere trace by channel we need to set a few things up so the first thing we need to do is tell it what is the object casting the channel uh, casting the sphere uh, trace and that is this mesh comp so drag that over to the world context object the next thing to do is get the start and end locations so to do that we need to get a socket now on the grey stone character model uh, on the skeleton on the skeleton we already have some sockets already associated to it if you scroll down in the hierarchy here you'll see fx sword top which is here and fx sword bottom which is at the other end of the sword and i'm going to do a line trace or sphere trace sorry along the length of the sword during the notifier i need to have these names spelt correctly okay so it has to be spelt exactly the same as it is here so let's go back to our do damage notify so what we need to do is get the socket location so get socket location and you want this one the transformation and here you see in socket name is where we type in our socket so fx underscore uh what was it i've forgotten it Duh -duh -duh. there it is okay so i need fx sword uh top and fx sword bottom okay top oh top sword i can't can't top today top and that will go into the start the target here will become our mesh comp so drag your mesh comp down into the target like so and i'm going to copy that over again into the end again the target is mesh comp and this time though we're using fx sword bottom um radius is how wide you want the uh sphere to be um so this will be an estimation until we get it right so i'm going to put in say 15 let's see what it turns out like and the trace channel we want to change that to camera and for now we want to tr change the draw debug type so we can see what is happening so i'm going to change this to for duration okay and i'm going to leave it as that for now we'll come back to this in a moment i just want to see if the line trace is working first so to get this notified to actually play we need to go to our animation montage and on the notifiers at the bottom here um, we're going to add a notify state so we want to find the part of the animation that we want to start the trace and i'm going to start it about there okay so from here i'm going to go and actually i'm going to add another because you can get fun fact if you don't know notifiers here the notify track at the bottom uh, you can actually add multiple ones to it, it helps you from having uh, a bit of a clustered uh, bunch of notifiers here so here i'm going to right click and go add notify state and you should see your deal damage notifier that we've previously made choose that and we want to choose the end point of it so move the timeline to where you want it to end i'll put it there i'm just going to drag the type the other end of our notifier out so what this means is that when the timeline hits this point that notify tick will occur in other words it'll do that sphere trace um okay so let's click save and let's see if this works so when i swing the sword you can see it is now doing that sphere trace and i'd say the 30 the 15 radius looks pretty good not too big okay so now we've got this you can see that when i collide with the player character no, the, the test dummy sorry it goes green 
okay, indicating that I've hit it. So what I'm going to do is to trigger a deal damage. So let's go to our uh, deal damage notify. And on the out hit here, we're going to right click and split it to get the details of our hit. And you can see here, out hit, hit actor. Drag from there and go apply damage. And plug that in like so. And here we can tell how much damage we want to deal. I'm going to deal 10 damage. And there's other settings here, but we can leave this as is for now. Okay. We're going to close that down and go to our test on me. We wanted to show him reacting to that hit now. So the apply damage node is how you uh, well apply damage to anything. Okay, uh, what you do with the information from that is totally up to you. Um, it's not a fixed uh, thing. You can use it however you like. So when you want to respond to any damage being received, you just do an event called uh, damage. Uh, any damage event any damage and you can see here all that information that we can pass through to it so if I wanted to I can do a print string here and do a damage event okay and this will now print out how much damage I'm doing to the test dummy now the reason why you're seeing it appear multiple times is because I'm getting multiple traces trace hits okay so what I need to do is tell it to only receive damage once whilst it's being hit. So to do that, we can go, there's a few things we could do. Um, we can go to the damage causer here and we can do a mesh comp here. I think, no, no, we'll leave it as this. We'll do it way. Uh, from there. Uh, we can go into our test dummy and I'm going to make him move and react so I want to play animation and the animation I want him to play is a hit react which is, there we go, do the left one because it's an animation I can actually test whether or not this mesh is actually animating so I can go is playing and if it is true don't do anything and if it is false oh play the animation and here we can do the print string as well if you want uh, let's just do that across there just so you can see how much damage is being dealt Click play and whack and you can see him react to our hits and note that it's only occurring once and that's basically it for melee um, damage dealing uh, i'm going to turn the line trace off so i'll just go into my damage notifier and just turn the debug off for that and i get a nice clean attack that deals damage and that damage value you can apply to the health bar of the enemy and then eventually make them die if they run out of health uh, whatever you like okay that's totally up to you so yeah this is part one of a series of damage dealing uh, videos we're gonna look at different types of dealing damage um, we're gonna look at different damage types um, how to do different effects like set people on fire when you hit them and all that jazz um, but yeah hopefully we get round to that uh, fairly sharpish thank you very much for watching if you want to support me and see the next video right now head over to patreon.com forward slash ryan lady and a simple cost of one dollar you can watch that video plus many others right now over on there and join our discord and join the community that we've got growing there too um big thank you to everyone and uh, a big shout out to my top tier uh, patrons big thank you couldn't be doing it without you guys so cheers again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.